Good for your, good it for is you. good for your digestion. It's great for your digestion. Let me show you one that's not hot. There we okay, go. Okay, so let's there do a non-hot pepper. I, yeah, I this is going to be a salad, a well, stuffed pepper. I, I just, you know, I think the thing is, is I think there's a lot of us out there that just can't handle the heat, but it's also yeah. you need something to balance things out. Right, totally. so that's why whenever I've got anything that I am using these little red chilies here because they do have a little bit of bite to them, but what I'm doing is actually masking it with lemon. Right. You know, and this is it. It offsets it, right? Well, you do, you know, you, whenever you want anything heat, and that's why I don't understand the crazy hot because, you know, you'd have to put like so much sugar or so much acid to balance out all that heat, you know? Yeah. So I wanted something a little bit more tameable that I can put. helps as well. Dairy, yep, yep, mellows it down. But what I've got is just a little bit of creme fraiche, yeah. or you can use yogurt, yeah. you can use a sour cream, a little bit of lemon juice. But then you do want to give life to salad, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I've actually got crab. Nice crab meat in here. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, some fresh shallots, you know, my gentle shallots. Some cucumber. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I like them too. It's going to come out in the news one day. I have a shares in these uh, shallot farms <laughs> down in there. Uh, lots of fresh herbs. And then. We just put one chili. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You can put okay. a lot more in we that. Put it, we put it in there, but it's just, it's a little scary, you know? I mean, it's, but you just, uh, the best thing with chilies, though, is use rubber gloves when you're cutting them. Yeah. It makes it a little easier. And then just add, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. Yeah. Right. You know you have to add more food if you have too much. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's what happens. You put too much chili and you end up with like 300 portions. Yeah. But what I've done is taken the nice bell peppers, and I just cut them lengthways, take a little spoon, take out the seeds, and once you've done that, just blanch them in boiling water. You end up with a little thing like this, and it's beautiful because okay. then you can actually just do a nice little stuffed pepper. And then why do you want to blanch them? Uh, it, do you cooking them? I find again it's that crunchy raw flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, Masimo is saying like, what will we do in the restaurant? But I kind of figured most people at home don't have blow torches. Is you can no, actually not really. Yeah, you, know, you just take the outside, you just char it, peel okay. it off, and then it actually cooks it. But you just want to soften the, the uh, pepper up, give yeah. a little more flavor yeah. to it. Yeah, you know. Okay. But something like this is great because you can serve it as a cold salad, as a little barbecue. But then you could take some cheese and parmesan, put it over top, bake them in the oven. You got oh, a roasted yeah. pepper as well. There you go. That Simple. is a great yeah. idea. Yeah. And Good it's stuff. not crazy hot. It's not crazy hot. It's just right. Let's go to break. More coming up. <laughs>